Scientists, historians, and conspiracy theorists have all been fascinated by the mysteries surrounding his life. He produced some of the most extraordinary scientific advances of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He subsequently spent his final days alone and impoverished, passing away. This is Nikola Tesla's tale. At the age of 86, he died of coronary thrombosis. He passed away in a budget hotel in New York City, broke and alone. It wasn't until a hotel maid chose to enter his room after two days of no activity that his body was discovered, despite the do not disturb sign on his door. Without delay, American government operatives stormed into the hotel where Tesla was staying and seized his documents and notes. Along with any other innovations they could locate, many believe they were searching for proof of Tesla's death ray, a weapon he had been hinting at for years and which could revolutionize warfare. On July 10, 1856, a child was born during a fierce storm and lightning. The maid called him a child of darkness as soon as he was born, but his mother believed this baby would become a child of light. This child was none other than Nikolai Tesla himself. Tesla began studying engineering and physics in the 1870s, but did not receive a degree. He gained practical experience in the early 1880s by working in telephony and at Continental Edison in the new electric power industry. In 1884, he emigrated to the United States and became a naturalized citizen. He worked briefly at the Edison Machine Works in New York City before starting his own business. With the help of partners to finance and market his ideas, Tesla established laboratories and companies in New York to develop a range of electrical and mechanical devices. His AC induction motor and related polyphase AC patents, licensed by Westinghouse Electric in 1888, earned him considerable money and became the cornerstone of the polyphase system that the company eventually marketed. Tesla's meticulous approach to scientific challenges led to groundbreaking discoveries showcased by his alternating current, a C system, and countless other inventions, including the Tesla coil. Nikola Tesla was not an ordinary inventor. He was a showman, a futurist, and a visionary who followed his path. His life was full of excitement, from his epic current wars with Thomas Edison to his groundbreaking experiments that were shocking. Tesla pioneered the generation, transmission, and use of alternating current, a sea and electricity, which can be transmitted over much greater distances than direct current. Tesla believed his mind was unparalleled, and he was not afraid to criticize his contemporaries, such as Thomas Edison, who once employed him. Tesla once wrote, if Edison had a needle to find in a haystack, he would proceed at once with the diligence of the bee to examine straw after straw until he found the object of his search. I was a sorry witness of such doing that a little theory and calculation would have saved him 90% of his labor. Tesla's life was full of missed opportunities. He began experimenting with X-ray technology just as someone else invented it. His legacy was overshadowed by his mentor turned rival, Thomas Edison, with whom he battled in the so-called current wars over how to develop electricity. Tesla's dreams of sending the first transatlantic radio communication were shattered when Guglielmo Marconi beat him. During the 1890s, Nikolai Tesla invented various electrical devices such as electric oscillators, meters, improved lights, and the Tesla coil, a high-voltage transformer. He also conducted experiments with X-rays, demonstrated radio communication two years before Guglielmo Marconi, and piloted a radio-controlled boat around a pool in Madison Square Garden. Tesla and Westinghouse collaborated to light up the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago and partnered with General Electric to install a sea generators at Niagara Falls, creating the first modern power station. In 1898, Tesla announced his invention of a telautomatic boat that could be guided by remote control. When people expressed skepticism, Tesla proved his claims before a crowd in Madison Square Garden. Westinghouse used Tesla's alternating current system to light up the world's Columbian Exposition in Chicago in 1893. This success played a significant role in winning the contract to install the first power machinery at Niagara Falls, which bore Tesla's name and patent numbers. The project carried power to Buffalo by 1896. In 1895, Tesla's laboratory in New York caught fire and destroyed years of his notes and equipment. As a result, he moved to Colorado Springs for two years before returning to New York in 1900. With the backing of financier J.P. Morgan, 
Tesla began constructing a global communications network centered around a massive tower located at Wardenslyff on Long Island. However, due to a lack of funds, Morgan became hesitant about Tesla's grandiose plans, and the project was eventually abandoned. Tesla then shifted his focus to turbines and other projects, but his ideas remained in his notebooks due to a lack of funding. Enthusiasts are still examining these notebooks for unexploited clues. In 1915, Tesla was disappointed when a report that he and Edison would share the Nobel Prize proved false. However, he was awarded the Edison Medal in 1917, which was the highest honor that the American Institute of Electrical Engineers could bestow. Tesla claimed to have created, in his head, if not in reality, inventions that could change warfare. In 1934, he described a particle beam weapon or death ray that could knock 10,000 enemy airplanes from the sky. In 1935, at his 79th birthday party, Tesla said that he had also invented a pocket-sized oscillation device that could level the Empire State Building. In 1912, Tesla started to distance himself from the skeptical world. He displayed symptoms of obsessive-compulsive disorder and was possibly a high-functioning autistic. He developed an obsession with cleanliness and became fixated on the number three. He started shaking hands with people three times and washing his hands in three sets. Nikolai Tesla had a peculiar obsession with the numbers three, six, and nine. He followed certain rituals, such as walking around the block thrice before entering a building and using 18 napkins to wash his dishes. He even refused to stay in a hotel room unless the room number was divisible by three even though he lived in cheap hotels in New York City then. He would swim 33 laps and start over if he lost count, worked from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., and had dinner at exactly 8.10 p.m., which is divisible by 3, 6, and 9, that is 8 plus 10 equals 18. In his later years, Tesla's life took a sad turn. He became isolated and financially strained, struggling to secure funding for his ambitious projects. The specifics of his scientific pursuits became increasingly esoteric, distancing him from mainstream recognition. Towards the end of his life, Tesla developed a fixation on pigeons, particularly a specific white female, whom he claimed to love almost as one would love a human being. One night, Tesla claimed that the white pigeon visited him through an open window at his hotel, and he believed the bird had come to tell him that she was dying. On January 7, 1943, at the age of 86, Tesla died alone in room 3327 of the Hotel New Yorker. His body was found by maid Alice Monaghan when she entered Tesla's room, ignoring the do not disturb sign that Tesla had placed on his door two days earlier. This was the incredible life story of Nikola Tesla. Subscribe for more content on the intersection of history, science, and innovation. Until next time, stay curious.